So we've already got the hitch install. That's that um, draw tight class three two inch hitch receiver. And uh, on our 2000 Dodge Grand Caravan crew model, 2012, sorry, um, the plan is for this. So this is a four bike bike rack. Uh, the brand is Allen. I'll post a um, link in the description for this on Amazon. I picked this specifically uh, because when we go on family trips, we've got five in the family. We don't typically always take five bikes, but uh, the last family trip that we went on, we took four and we have to put all four bikes inside the van. Um, thankfully we have the stow and go cargo space under the seats. Um, but in this case, we want to move it to where we can put the bikes on the outside. Um, this particular hitch I like because it has, if you can see in the top here, those are actually cloth straps instead of the rubber ones. A lot of the reviews that you read on Amazon show that the rubber straps get brittle from sitting out in the sun and eventually the little rubber straps break. Um, I think this was about $120 and I think the receiver was about $130. Uh, so it's not bad, $250 for everything. If I was to go and buy a receiver from uh, Mopar that's vehicle specific to my van, I'd probably pay, pay close to $400 to $600. Um, $400 for just the hitch installed and $600 for the hitch with the wiring installed. I don't need wiring or lights for this. Uh, the only purpose we have for this is to put this bike rack on. So I'm going to break down the box and get all the parts out and throw it on and see how it fits. So here's the pieces out. So this is the top piece here. Um, it does swivel. You can take the pin out and swivel it around so it can lay down flat against the back of the van when you're not using it or you can have it sticking out uh, when it's in use. So I'll go through. I'm not going to show this on a video obviously, but I'll go through and pull all the bubble wrap off. Looks like we got an instruction kit here and it's got the bolts for putting the bottom plate, the receiver, into the hitch itself. So we'll continue getting this unpackaged. So the bike rack is installed now. It's really simple. There's just a couple bolts here in the middle that the two pipes slide together. There's also the bottom piece right here. I'll try to get the sun out of here so you can actually see it. So just that one bolt. Um, there's a bolt that goes in the bottom here, little clip um, that undoes it so that this whole thing can come out, lean out so you can put the bikes on easier. And then the top piece up here has the same thing, this little, this clip comes out of the back, you just snap this off and pull this pin out and the whole thing can go down so it's laid against the back of the vehicle. It goes straight in line with that bar here um, when you're not using it. These straps are simple enough. Um, you just pull up on the strap. You can you undo the strap all the way. I've got one hand so it looks harder than it is, but you just undo the strap all the way. And then once the strap is open, you put the bike frame through the top here and slip this back through the strap um, little clip here and I don't know if you've worked with the backpack before it's kind of the same design but once that's in then you just strap this thing back down to hold the frame in so we'll grab a bike and throw it in there just so you can see what it looks like so here's one of four so you can imagine how this would work you just got the bikes in line. My guess is you'd have to alternate them if you don't want the handlebars hitting each other. Uh, give enough space so that this bike goes in this direction, the next bike, this bike, last bike. Um, but you can see how the straps go over the frame. This one's kind of funky because it's got the two tubes that are welded together for the last six inches, so that makes it difficult. But um, you can see this just a normal strap. The strap just goes up over the top. Um, you just cinch the strap down, I'm trying to get the sun out here so I can actually show you, but it does not look like it's going to work, so anyway, there's the strap through, you know, nothing special about the strap, just uh, I like the fact that this is a cloth strap like you have on a backpack, not um, a rubber strap, like I said, a lot of the rubber straps have um, negative reviews because they get hard and old and crusty in the sun 
Um, I did notice they have a in the description for the manual that came with the bike rack. The manual's really self-explanatory. Um, there isn't anything tricky about putting the rack together, but they have something for the front here where you can take, if you've got all four bikes in, you can take this bar and strap it through the front wheels so that all the wheels stay straight. Um, a lot of the customer reviews just show the bikes on there. I don't see the strap going through, but I'll probably just figure out something else. I don't even know how much the strap is they're talking about. The only thing that I don't like about this one is, so all these bolts that go together, they have nylock nuts on them, which means these are just gonna be permanent. I would rather have um, something that's secure, because somebody could just come up and undo these bolts and, and, and take the rack. Uh, it'd be nice to have something locking, like a th little 3 8 These are 3 8 bolts, I believe. Um, I would rather have something that I could potentially have a um, pin that goes through and a secure lock, a little key on the end um, to lock it. I have those for my receiver hitch for my truck, uh, but it's more or less because I'm hauling a trailer. Um, but these are just nylock nuts here. The one that goes underneath that actually goes through the receiver here, um, I would rather have a pin, a uh, pin with a pin that slides through and a cotter pin on the other end um, because I'd like to be able to take this off without having to unbolt it. So this is almost kind of a semi-permanent. If once you put it on, you're not gonna wanna have to go and get tools and un undo this uh, nylock nut to take this bolt out anytime you wanna put it on or take it off. So I'm gonna see if I can find, I believe that's a 3 8 as well. I'm gonna see if I can find uh, some kind of locking pin um, for a trailer, trailer kind of trailer hitch pin. Um, so that I can secure it, but when I want to I can just take this thing off uh, Without having to go and get a wrench socket set to take these apart. So um, The last bit of this is just tightening down these um, nylock nuts um, As you can see the top here This is just a pin that goes through um, So what you do is you just take the weight off And this thing goes down to the ground and then you can um, you can strap all the bikes down here and then lift the whole thing back up uh, but that's all that is so the the bolt at the bottom is the pivot and the top just comes undone so that you can drop this thing down so um, it's not much else to review for now I think a longevity test would be the next part of this so hopefully that was a helpful review um, and uh, you can like, comment, subscribe, and I'll just keep posting other videos of other products. I appreciate it. Peace.